starting with the great name of almighty allah who is the most gracious and most beneficent that i will discuss now is the uh, sediment transport and with the progress of the presentation i will discuss some other topics too so let's let me start so sediment transport as i have now defined what the sediment transport is that whenever a water flows in a channel uh, that can be a natural or artificial it tries to uh, score its surface mean silt gravel even large boulders are detached from the bed or sides of the channel these detached particles are swept downstream by moving water so this phenomena in which these detached particles are uh, moving with the water is basically known as the sediment transportation now in this slide the very first point is the <clears throat> the x section and the slope of the true regime channels are controlled by following three variables independent of the channel those are discharge in the channel nature of the sediment entering the channel where the grain size distribution the uh, the shape of the grain and their specific gravity and third point is the quantity of sediment entering the channel regime theories uh, account for only two variables which are the discharge in the channel and the nature of the sediment entering in the channel and the third variable is very important and affects the slope to very uh, large extent and also the x section because the quantity of sediment entering in the channel will basically uh, will uh, get if we will know that how much amount of the sediment is entering into the channel then we will know that <clears throat> then uh, how much it is reducing the storage capacity and uh, you know storage capacity or if i talk about x section means that is talking about cross section so it will affect the dimensions actual dimensions of the uh, channel and will reduce its use means earlier it was of uh, certain dimensions now because the silt has uh, uh, taken its part and then have make uh, a layer another layer because of which its storage capacity have become decreased and it also affects the slope and slope also if that the, it is uh, you know get <coughs> the silt particles have uh, taken place at the a slope also now coming towards the another slide so in this picture you can see that how sediment particles uh, are moving some of uh, some of the particles are in the uh, suspension and some of the particles are moving along the bed of the <clears throat> bed of the channel so the suspended load and the bed load if i talk about the particles which are suspension so and some are the in the bed uh, some are the particles moving along the bed load so the particles which are a suspension are because of the turbulent uh, flow of the water when the water will be in the turbulent flow then the particles uh, in silt particles will be in the uh, will be in the suspension and will be dissolved in the <coughs> will be dissolved in the water and move uh, move with the water but if the particles are uh, moving uh, means there are uh, <coughs> there are a heavy particles and of the greater size and are getting scored at the bottom or the bed of the channel that will move with the drag force that is again because of the high velocity that because of which the shear stresses uh, shear forces are uh, is generated that shear force is generated because of the dragging of the particles uh, dragging of the particles because of the water flowing and uh, uh, with what it is dragging it is dragging with the, uh, the <coughs> with the bed of the channel that is this this bed of the channel okay now this is another picture in which you can see this these are the dissolved load and uh, this is the means dissolved load which includes silt or clay are in the suspension and some are in the bed loads which are somewhat in the you know greater uh, dia that can be a sand gravel or boulders large larger one 
so their uh, you know they how they moves <clears throat> they moves in the uh, hooping or in the bouncing either, uh, or they uh, slides with the bed bed of the channel or they rolls along the bed of the channel that's how the movement of the bed load is and suspended particles moves along the currents or the waves of the water now classification of the set, uh, sediment one is suspended load other is the bed load i have already uh, shown you the picture in which it was clear that uh, the some of the particles were in suspension some of the particles were moving along the bed so uh, here it is written that it is carried in the fluid away from the bed means the those particles which are away from the bed and are in the fluid are basically the suspended load and bed load it moves on or near on or near the bed means on or near means sliding hooping and bouncing and rolling those particles are coming into the bed load combinedly both makes the total load suspended load plus bed load now sediment discharge it is the rate of the transportation of sediment by the channel expression in the terms of the hydraulic parameters and sediment properties to predict the amount of degradation aggradation and bank erosion sediment discharges of the very important like uh, we will get to know that how much the scoring is done how much the siltation is going to be done and how much the uh, erosion is going to takes place 